Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is gonna to be a pretty fun day. We're going to install metal edging around our flower beds here at the house. So I'm finally getting caught up on some of the big projects like over here where we planted grass seed and stuff. And if you haven't seen those vlogs, I'll post links to them at the end of the video. I've got things around the house that need to be caught up. So we're gonna get busy on that. We're gonna show you how to install this metal edging for your flower beds and it's pretty cool. They make it in brown, they make it in green. So come along today, we'll have some fun. We'll make this place pretty. All right, woo! Stony Ridge, from Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. Cow Ranch, baby, woo! So guys, before we get started with today's vlog, I wanna show you something I'm really proud of. I don't know if you guys follow every vlog, but I bought some seat covers for this Dodge Ram pickup and the seat covers were in horrible shape. We paid $3,000 for this big old 2500 Dodge Ram truck and we're slowly but surely working on it and getting it to the way I want it. Check out the inside. Man, this thing looks great. Check that out. This is a 99 Dodge Ram truck and we put the dash cover on here and you can see there's some cardboard on here. I was fixing up the windshield wipers but Man, the carpet came out nice. This is the new seat cover that we put on. Still got a tear right here in the in the driver's side seat, but man, what a great truck. Now something that's really funny about this truck, I hadn't cleaned it since we bought it. We've probably had it about, I don't know, two or three months. And guess what? I found a bonus in the truck underneath the seat. Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. <laughs> Rad. So folks, I don't know if you're like me, but I've walked by this stuff I don't know, 200 times. And this is what it is. It's just like a four or five inch metal heavy duty landscape barrier that you could weed eat up against. You could bump with your lawnmower. It's not gonna hurt it. Uh, and it's basically held in place by little stakes that go in through here. And each piece comes with two stakes on each end. So it comes with four stakes. And what you need to do is break the stakes off with a pair of pliers, just a big old pair of pliers. Basically, they just pop off. Hopefully they pop off. Ugh, there we go. So they just pop off and then we hammer those in to the little slots. Now you gotta be careful. They say wear gloves and they wear eye protection while you're doing this. But basically, these little pieces just lock together and then these little stakes go into the slots. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Now we'll take you over here and we'll show you the flower bed, all right? Cow ranch. So folks, you can see this flower bed's just kind of all over the place right now. I've got lots of weeds, I've got some lilies coming up, and I've got some pretty azaleas coming up too, but everything's kind of just not looking so good. So this is gonna be the start of making it pretty. And basically, we're gonna take it back. Now I know a lot of you people may have just bought a house or something like that, and you wanna dress up your flower beds and make them look nice, and I really think this stuff looks nice. So to start our end, we're actually gonna leave, these are the two little stakes here, we're actually gonna leave those stakes in, and we're gonna start our end right down here, and we'll put this side to the inside, okay? So the side where the stake goes is gonna go toward the flower bed. And the smooth side, which you can see here, see there's a smooth side and then there's a raised side. So this side right here will go outward for the lawnmower and the weed eater so we can weed eat up next to it. Pretty cool. Let's get started. So sometimes the most intimidating part of a good project is just getting started. So I've been meaning to do this for at least two years. When we first put our home here on the farm, I wanted to do this. The tools you're gonna need are a nice big pair of pliers, I'm using a rubber mallet, and maybe we can use a rubber mallet. We may have to get a metal mallet, I'm not sure. And you can use, I have a sawzall, a DeWalt sawzall or a reciprocating saw, but you can just use a hacksaw. You need eye protection and protection for your hands. You need some gloves. I'm probably not gonna wear gloves for most of this, but I may use gloves if I see fit. Well, let's set our tools over here out of the dirt, and we'll get a start. We'll get our first piece here, and basically I want to line this up with my flower bed edge, okay? It would probably help to have Mrs. Stony Ridge here to help me, but it's okay. We'll get it done. I wanna match it up with my sidewalk right here. And I know that I'm going to be extending my flower bed out this way a little bit, which leaves me a little bit more room for planting flowers and stuff like that. All right, so we've got our first little section lined up right here. 
I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see. So here's our first little section and we're basically just gonna line it up with the sidewalk and we're gonna knock this little stake in. Pretty simple. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna knock the second stake in. And we wanna make sure that it's nice and straight and level up and down. So we kinda give her a little twist and make sure she's good and then we'll move on down this way. Folks, this stuff couldn't be more simple, okay? So we're just gonna drive our stakes in and basically, we, we want to make sure that we're in a good spot here, okay? A good level spot. We don't want it to go up and down, up and down, up and down like that. So you may want to take a little shovel with you in order to straighten out your flower bed too. That'll kind of help. Or you can just take your hands and rake, rake back a little bit and that'll be fine too, okay? We'll take our stake, drop it in, and tap our stake down. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty cool. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get all of our pieces and we're gonna lay them out throughout the yard here and get started. Rock and roll with this thing. Get moving. Now, ladies, you might be watching this thinking, hmm, that stuff seems too heavy. It's really not all that heavy. I'd say each piece probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, eight to 10 pounds. So it's really not all that heavy for folks who can't lift really heavy stuff. You can handle it, don't worry. So we're to our next section right here and basically we're going to take and break loose our little stakes that come with this package and just bend them back eh, pretty simple this is the only thing that requires a little bit of strength you have to have a little strength in your hands and you break them off and then we'll lay them up here where they go this little piece goes underneath and kind of locks into place here Get you a close up so this is the first piece we laid down and here is the second piece and basically they just ride right on top of each other and then you take your stake and you put this little ridge to the inside drive him in there right there and we lock them in place just like so make sure this piece right here fits nice and flush and even and then we'll take our mallet and we'll tap it down make sure we're in the place that we want to be take our mallet and tap it down tap it into place just tap it in very light tap rubber mallet works just fine now from this point forward we'll basically just continue on around the flower bed continue knocking stakes in supporting them and basically we'll support them at each joint and then we'll go back in and we bought some extra stakes we bought i think 40 extra stakes to stake the center areas and make sure everything looks straight and looks nice pretty simple I'm gonna get busy. Just in the nick of time, my neighbor Tony shows up. So he's gonna help me out and we're gonna help him out here in just a little bit too. We're gonna put some new lights on this golf cart. So that'll probably be the next vlog. Pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and run this thing. We're gonna get busy with it. All right guys, so we're matching it up right here. Sometimes you gotta dig a little bit in the flower bed. Match it up. You just basically drop one of these stakes in and be sure the rib on the stake is facing the flower bed. Drop it in then get the next one and drop it in. Take your rubber mallet, tap it into place. Now we're going to be working around a turn right here. But this stuff is really, really flexible so it makes it really easy to make beautiful round flower beds. I feel like we're going to be using a lot more of this stuff throughout the farm. It just makes things simple, easier to mow up to easier to weed eat and easier to weed the garden or weed the flower bed. So if you get a spot that's not quite level, you can just tap, take your rubber mallet and just tap it right down into the ground. I'm learning as I go, just like you. There's a dog turd down here. I've got to be really careful not to get in that dog turd, okay? Guys, I don't know about you, but I just love to work outside. I just love to build things and look back at what I did and be proud of it or be ashamed of it and fix it later really fun weather is beautiful today it's nice to do something and take a little pride pretty awesome so folks we're getting it done here it looks nice we've got a few more to put up and we're going to go ahead and get busy i just thought i'd show you how this stuff goes up how it installs and what it looks like so we'll take and fill in our flower beds right here with some good garden soil and put some more flowers in it'll be beautiful Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Take the time right now. 
pound that like button. If any of you guys have any experience with this stuff or have any advice, please post me a comment down below, all right? Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Hey, Tony. Smile. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please have the sun back? Any chance I could get the sun back? Sometimes the biggest part uh, is having your camera aimed properly. Cow Ranch, baby. Woo.